Hi everyone, this is Amit Gupta from SaaS Smart. In this video, we are going to learn how to set up split mail delivery between Google Workspace and Microsoft 365. For this, we will first have to go to admin.microsoft.com. navigation menu setup custom domain setup manage here you see my domain is uh, listed here I will go DNS records You see error here. Let's configure the DNS records. Manage DNS. Let Microsoft add your DNS records. So Microsoft will add DNS required DNS records directly to Cloudflare. It asks for login when adding the DNS records. In my case, because I was already logged in, so I did not ask. Now the domain setup is complete. Let's close. Okay. And let's go to users create a user that we want to receive email in Microsoft 365 for this domain Okay, now we will go to a private window and we will log in to this account so that mailbox is set up. Sign in test at demo dot in. Now this user's outlook is set up. We will close it. Okay, now we will configure Google Workspace for receiving the emails. So for this we will go to admin.google.com. Go to domains. Okay, we see that this domain is already verified here. Go to admin console. It says activate, try activating Gmail again. So let me click activate. Okay, it says go to Cloudflare and add MX records. So let me add MX records there. Go to DNS. Add MX record.
now we have to delete the MX record set up by Microsoft 365. So you see this MX record here, we have to delete it. We are deleting it because we want our primary uh, server to be Google Workspace. Now it's done here. We will come back to Gmail and do activate Gmail. We have to see the mail server MX record required to configure the split mail. So we will go to DNS records and we will copy this string here. <coughs> okay, so now our Gmail is activated. Let's go to create users. Okay, you see we have Amit at demo dot dot in here configured. So that's good now. Okay, now we will configure the split mail delivery. So for this, we will go to apps, Google Workspace, Gmail, Here we will first add host. So add route. Here we will demo MS365 route. We will enter that server name that we copied here. Let me copy it again. Okay, we will enter 25 here. We will do perform MX record lookup on host. Okay, so the server is okay now. We will do save. Now we have to copy the, we have to remember this name. We will go back to settings for Gmail. We will go to advanced settings. Okay. Now here we will go to routing. Add another. We will say demo dot. Because we are modifying the route of incoming emails, so we will select inbound here, change route, and we will select that the mails be route to Microsoft 365. And now we will select unrecognized here. This is setting for routing only for the emails for the accounts which do not exist in G Suite or Google Workspace. We will click add setting. Okay. We will click save. Okay. Now let's go and try to test it. We will go for Gmail. We will try sending and test mails to ourselves only. 
that email to Amit Gupta. Okay. The mail has come to me because it's the same email address. Now we'll do another test. This time we are sending to an email account which exists in Microsoft but not in this Google account. So we will select this email address. Test user email. Okay, now we will go send. Okay. The mail is sent. There is no bounce here. Now let's go back to Microsoft and try to log in into that user's account and see if that email exists there. the email has come now is here now so in this video we saw how to set up split mail delivery between google workspace and microsoft 365 i hope you found this video useful if you have any questions you can either comment in comment section below or write to us at support at thank you so much for watching this video bye